Ah, so wait till nice. Welcome. We are um, looking at chapter three, Capitulum Tertium today, and scene three, Skyna Tertia, the third scene. Uh, Skyna, by the way, coming from the Greek word skene, which was kind of the stage building uh, where they set up the scenes on. Not the scene as in, you know, what happens so much as the stage. But in Latin, it often is used for a scene, a setting, um, so part of a little play. And that's how we're using it here, because these dialogues are kind of like plays. All right, personae, characters in the story. Julius, Emilia, Julia, Marcus, Quintus. Julius is Julius. Emilia is Emilia. Julia is Julia. Marcus and Quintus, of course, Marcus and Quintus, the, the brothers. Quintus, Quintus says... Pater Winnet, father's coming. Amelia Quintum known out it. Amelia does not hear Quintus. Notice that Quintum ends with the M. That's our singular direct object ending, singular accusative. Why doesn't he hear or she hear Quintus? Quia Marcus Plorot, because Marcus is crying. Again, Marcus is crying up a storm here. Julius Quintum Widet, a Yumque interrogat. Julius sees Quintus, and he asks him. So the aum refers to Quintus. Notice the que on the end of it. We talked about que a minute ago with neque. The que on the end means and, but you translate it before. You don't say him and, you say and him. So Julius sees Quintus and asks, interrogat means asks, him aum. Cur Marcus Plorot. Why is Marcus crying? Quintus respondet. Quintus responds, replies, answers. Marcus Plorot. Marcus cries. Quia mater eum verbrot. Because mother is beating him, is whipping him. Or spanking him if you prefer, right? Again, verbrot is different from pulsa in that it's a word for punishment, sort of um, beating or whipping. All right, Julius then says, said cur mater marcum verbrot, but why is mother whipping Marcus? Quintus says, marcum verbrot, she's whipping Marcus. And one thing I want to point out there, I'm understanding the she from the fact that the verb verbrot ends with T. I mentioned earlier that the T ending for a verb in Latin means the subject is a he, she, or an it kind of a word. Now, there is no he, she, it word in the sentence. It's just that the T ending tells us that, and the context tells us who is doing it, she is doing it, meaning Amelia. If I look at Markum, it ends with an M, so I know he's the direct object. So I can't say, um, Quintus says, Marcus is, is beating. It has to be she is beating Marcus, direct object, because of the M on the end of Markum. Okay, so Quintus says, she's beating Marcus, quia puer improbus est, because he is a bad, a wicked, a not good boy, right? So probus is good or decent, improbus is the opposite. Marcus parwam puellam pulsat, Marcus is beating up a little girl. Julia then says, mama, pater hic est, mom, father is here. Amelia, Julium Widet. Amelia sees Julius. Amelia, Amelia says, Tuus Marcus Filius Improbus est. Your son Marcus is bad, is wicked. Now notice that tuus word, meaning your. <laughs> I think here she's where she, she doesn't want to claim her son because he's being so bad. So she's sort of blaming it all on the dad. Your son Marcus is, is bad. And Julia says, Fu puer. Oh, boy. Right? Fu is that interjection of exasperation. He's just, like, had it with him. Puer probus non pulsat puelam. A good boy does not beat up a girl. Puer qui parwam puelam pulsat improbus est. The boy who, qui, qui means who, the boy who is beating up a little girl is bad. Now, if we did this in English word order, it would be something like puer qui pulsat um, parwampuelam 
est improbus. We would change that all the way around. So the main verb in Latin, though, is at the end, est. The adjective, improbus, is coming before the verb. We usually like to put it after, right? The boy is bad, is wicked. Also, the dependent clause, which is called a relative clause here, the qui clause, qui through pulsat, who is beating up a little girl, all right? Who in English is what we call a relative pronoun here. The qui is the relative pronoun in the Latin. Inside of that clause, we again would say who is beating up a little girl. So we would say who, which is the subject. We would say the verb is beating up. And then we would put the, the girl, the direct object, at the end of the clause. But Latin, again, likes to have the verb at the end of its clause. Okay? So I'm just pointing out the, the difference in word order. That is a complex sentence. A complex sentence, technically, is a sentence which has dependent clauses. Not just independent clauses, but dependent clauses. So qui through pulsat is, again, either a dependent clause or specifically uh, a relative clause. All right. The boy who beats up a little girl is bad. Julius Iratus, Julius angry, puellum, uh, I'm sorry, puerum improbum werberat, whips the bad boy. Tux tox, tux tox, tux tox. Again, that's just the sound effects as he's whipping him. And if we look at the picture, it looks like he's taking a baculum, a stick or a rod to whip him with. So this is going to be a serious whipping. I'm sure he would have bruising afterwards. Romans were pretty tough, right? I mean, we've got a slavery slavery society. We have gladiators fighting to the death, people doing chariot racing and dying frequently. Of course, gruesome warfare against their enemies. Uh, they didn't think twice about whipping children, uh, and they would use a uh, staff, they would use a switch, you know, a more flexible rod. Uh, they, they really were quite tough. Marcus Plorot, Marcus cries, Quintus litus est et ridet. Quintus is happy, and he is laughing. So, perhaps he's a little sadistic, too. Of course, his brother was beating him up and his sister up, so... I might feel at least a little relief that, you know, Marcus is getting some type of uh, consequence for his actions. But Quintus seems to be happy, okay? Julia Lita Nones. Julia is not happy, okay? So she's a little nicer, right? Even though Marcus beat her up twice here, she's not happy to see him being beaten up. Neque Redet. Nor is she smiling, nor is she laughing, right? Redet. Again, that's where we get ridiculous from, from that root. Cur non laeta es Julia. Why isn't Julia happy? Non laeta est, she's not happy. Quia Marcus plorat, because Marcus is crying. Julia es puella proba. Julia is a good, a decent girl. Right? She's a decent person. She feels bad for other people um, in pain. All right. Puer ridet, the boy is laughing. Puella plorat, the girl is crying. Quis es puer qui ridet, who is the boy who is laughing. So notice the similarity in quis and qui. Quis is the who interrogative. So when you want to ask a question, quis. And then qui is the relative pronoun who, the boy who is laughing. Who is laughing it describes the boy, right? So it's a little different. It's not a question. In English, we use the same word for both. Who is the boy who is laughing? Puer qui ridet, the boy who is laughing. Est Marcus, is Marcus. Quae est puella, quae plorat, who is the girl who is um, crying. Puella quae plorat, est Julia, the girl who is crying is Julia. Marcus qui puellam pulsat, puer improbus est. Marcus who beats up a girl, is a bad boy. There's another complex sentence for you, right? The main verb est is way at the end, right? Marcus is, and what is he? He is puer and probus, a bad boy. Um, and then the qui clause describes Marcus. Marcus, who beats up the girl, is a bad boy. 
Just pointing out again there how all that works out in the complex sentence. Puella quam Marcus pulsat, the girl whom Marcus beats, whom Marcus hits. And notice I'm saying whom. You can say who, people usually do, but technically quam and whom in English are the objects in that clause. So it's, it's really proper to put that object form on. So the girl whom Marcus beats is Julia. Julia Emiliam Wukat, Julia calls Emilia. Amelia quam Julia Wukat, mater liber orum est. Amelia whom, notice the M on the end of quam again. Amelia whom Julia is calling is the mother of the children. Liberorum. So remember back to chapter 2, that orum ending is of the plural, right? It's a genitive plural ending. Amelia puerum werberat. Amelia is whipping the boy. Puerquim Amelia werberat, the boy whom Amelia is whipping. So quim is again one of these object pronouns, right? The M on the end tells us, hey, I'm going to be direct object. The boy whom Amelia whips is Marcus. Now I want to point out the gender difference. Quim is the masculine form of whom. Whoop. Quim is a masculine form of whom. And then quam is, whoops, quam, yeah, there we go. Quam is the feminine form. So quim, right here, masculine, and then the quam is feminine. Okay, quim wokat quintus. Whom does Quintus call? Quintus Julium Wokat. Quintus calls Julius. Julius Quim Quintus Wokat. Pater Liber Orum Est. Julius whom Quintus calls is the father of the children. Liberorum. There's that genitive plural again. So note again, here's the Quim. Quim is the masculine form of whom? All right. Julius Quintum non audit. Julius does not hear Quintus. Quim audit Julius. Whom does Julius hear? Julius Marcum audit. Julius hears Marcus. Notice Marcum with the M ending because he's the direct object. Puer quim Julius audit. The boy whom Julius hears. Est Marcus. Is Marcus. Puella quae cantat, lie to est, the girl who sings, is singing, is happy. Puella quae plorat, known as Lita, the girl who is crying, is not happy. Puer qui puellam pulsat, in probus est, boy who is hitting a girl, is bad, is wicked. All right, well that concludes the third and final section of chapter three. I hope you learned a few things and picked up on the accusative endings, those M endings, where it's your accusative singular or object singular forms, uh, both in the nouns like Julium and Marcum, uh, Juliam, Emiliam, but also in the pronouns like Aum, uh, Him, or Quem, and Quam, the words for whom. All right, well, good luck till next time. Walete.